Hello everyone, welcome back to Jailbreak. Now, since we are now in the month of July, we now have a new update. I've got a long list of things on my notepad over here, so let's get straight into it. So, I must say, I've had a sneak peek at a few things. Just, all I've seen is the police HQ, but I thought I might as well start recording because then I'll get my real reaction to everything. So, first of all, let's start with the police HQ. Now, to be honest, I absolutely love this. What Asimo needs to add, though, is a choice so we can choose where we spawn all of the time. Because once I start spawning in here, I'm not going to want to spawn elsewhere. Asimo said that criminals can enter with a keycard, and we've got the garage here so we can spawn a vehicle. There we go, and then you connect it through there, that's pretty good. And then we've got another ATM back here, just like in all the other ones. We've got a rear exit. The crane is still here for some reason. Little trees back there, that's quite nice. And then we've got the top criminal's bounty board, that's really good, nice and big, so we can see it. And then up here, we've got a target range you can see down below. I really like this. And we've got a proper gun shop. Now, actually, guys, if you've seen my previous, if you've seen some of my old videos where I play as police team, which I really enjoy doing, I often use the SWAT shield. So, a SEMO needs to add the SWAT shield to this. They've got the useless flashlight and binoculars, so why don't you add the SWAT shield, which most other people think is useless. It's more useful than them. But, no, nope, went the wrong door. If you come on this door, you can actually get up to the SWAT shield. It's just a bit awkward. You've got a spawn for the normal helicopter. There we go. Hold on. And if we come up to the roof, we have the spawn for the buzzard. And this is this and the bank. They've removed the buzzard from the bank. Oh, right. So that's the only spawner for the buzzard now. I have to move the normal helicopter from there. The city police. Why did they do that? And we don't have even... We don't have any fast cars down here. It's just these two... Crap. Slow cars. So now this police base here has been removed by the power plant. It was never useful, let's just say that, but... And Asima also said that they removed the spawn from the prison basement, which I'm super happy about. I've been begging for this since the day I started. So it's still here, but I'm assuming that... Because if, if you see here, I'll add it on the screen now. Someone asked, City Police Base, is that getting removed? And they said, for now, keeping one spawn point there. But you'll have 80% chance to spawn in the Police HQ compared to anywhere else. Right, let's reset a few times and see where we spawn. City police base. Police HQ, right. So you spawn down at the bottom and the star. Okay. Okay, we spawn up on top. You can spawn on top of here. Police base down by the garage. I think there's quite a few spawns. In Area 51, so they do still have spawn here. That's good. I just want to make sure that you still spawn in the prison. Okay, so you spawn up here by the gun shop. Spawn up here by the SWAT shield. Yes, so you do still spawn in the prison. That's okay though, because you've got the proper thing here and you can, without having to spawn, you can get a Cirrus quite easily. So, I quite like that. Okay, so we'll come over here to the one million dealership spawn. I'll put an image up on screen of the old Volt bike and this is the new Volt bike. Now, I have one concern about this and I think a few other people do as well. This looks exactly like the one from the movie. I uh, don't know what the movie's called, but whatever it's based off, it looks exactly the same. You know what happened to the blade, right? It got removed, we think, because of copyright, because it was exactly like the one in the movie. To be honest, we don't want that happening again to the vault bike. So, let's just hope and pray. Right. This is pretty cool. Oh. Uh. Um. Right, let's... That, okay. I mean, it feels faster than the old one. But, it's... It's flippy. Ah, uh, it's on control. I just don't know. I don't even know. It doesn't slow down fast enough, it doesn't have good enough. The brakes don't seem that good. Look at 
the stopping distance on it? It just doesn't stop. To be honest, I'd stop using the Volt anyway, but it's not my favourite. Do you remember the old way where you could knock down the lampposts and stuff? Well now, you can knock down pretty much anything. Look at that. This is perfect so you can just ram into it and it doesn't stop you in your tracks. Tree. That's pretty cool. It's a weird sound, I must say. This billboard? Ah. And I think, yeah, you can knock down these now. I must say this is fun. And just go around destroying everything. This is amazing. That's really nice. Stop signs? Stop signs? Yep. Um, it's... Okay. Let's buy it. Eh. Well, it's, uh... First person camera is not my favourite. Let's level it up, I guess. Question. Why did I see no add this? Why would anybody buy this? I mean, to be fair, it's not that slow. What, I need, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some speed tests and let's see if it compares with the Cybertruck. So next thing, we have some new contracts. Some of these are absolutely hilarious. Now, obviously, I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible so I don't have all of the contracts. Thanks to everyone in the Discord and Twitter who replied with some of their contracts that they managed to find. I will give shout outs to all of them below the image. So here's some of the new contracts. These are absolutely amazing. The next change, which in my opinion is really good, is that the cargo boat has almost doubled the amount of cash that it gives. Here we are, coming up to the cargo boat now. Let's not get shot down. Let's steal a crate. I did, yeah, I got it, okay. Oh, so it's, and it's also got a marker where you need to drop it off. That's good. Okay. Right, ready? Let's see how much we get. We got oh, 8, 7,300 cash. That is good. That is really good. I'm going to rob this so much more. That is absolutely amazing. That's like another museum. Oh my god. Also, as you know, in the last update, the June buggy randomly just disappeared. But in this update, they've brought it back. It spawns at the volcano exit of the tomb. And apparently it's fixed. So let's have a look. Hmm. Yes, it does. So that's still broken. Right, level up. Oh my, this is legendary. It's fixed. It's fixed. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. They also said that the Army Heli missiles have been nerfed. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it just does less damage, but let's have a look. Does it do? <gasps> Wait! That is so good. Friendly fires off. That is so good. I'm so happy with that. Right, okay. So, that's super good. That is really good. <laughs> you can knock that down. Oh my god. Eh? <gasps> oh. Oh, so that's a thing. That is cool. The orange thing is going to go though. That 
is really cool. Like this. Yep, nice. Mailbox. That just, yeah. Actually kind of like that. Ready? Oh yeah. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. And this feature is probably slightly less useful. It'll st it'll still be handy though to find out if people are at the museum, etc., etc. They've added these things called player markers, and basically it's a marker above a player's head, and wherever they are, it shows up their location. So you can see these are the police markers. So you can see I've got police over there, police in a helicopter, police. That's a criminal. You can't see the opposite team. That's good. You can also see a lot more criminals as expected. And just like the robbery markers, you can turn off the play markers. And the final addition I'm going to talk about today is adjusting robbery bounties. Now, I'm not actually sure the changes, and I couldn't be bothered trying to go around every single robbery to do it. I didn't have enough time to do that. But the robbery bounties have been raised by, I think, a decent amount. So that'll make earning money as a police a lot easier. But what I would like to see a CMO add is making criminals keep the bounty once they die. Because that is very annoying when people die or like a police kills them and then you lost all the bounty. Okay, well I think that's about going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know down in the comments whether you like this update or not. Personally, I think it's quite good. I think all the contracts are going to be really fun to do in the next season. Be sure to subscribe and check out these playlists that I have set for you. And also go and watch my video doing a speed test of the new Sentinel vehicle. But other than that, I think I'll see you in the next one. So, see ya.